Okay, it's, it's my hydro shop jet washer. This one's cordless, bushless. Um, comes with this, uh, this quite a big kind of charger here. Um, this one's a fast charger. I'm just gonna kind of bring it around just there. So, um, with this gun, you can draw up water from more sources. It can be from a pond, lake, your bucket of water, just anywhere where it's not like too, too dirty. Um, battery here. So this is um, 20 volt and has four amp hours. I normally get about, you can probably get about half an hour off, off a full, off a full charge. Um, there's a small indicator on the battery just to show your battery levels. If I just press that like so, so you can see it's fully charged. And so very easily just places onto the, the dock there. Sorry, the wrong way around. And as you can see, it's charging up there. Um, you'll also hear the fan kick in straight away. It, it is a fast charger, so I assume it would get pretty hot. Um, so this is pretty lightweight. Not too heavy. And this just simply clicks into there. It's got kind of three pins there, which go into the battery. Battery slot just there, just like so. And just kind of trigger here. This is here to kind of kick up like so. Um, so on the end, of the uh, jet washer, it's got a fan, so you can span it up from zero all the way up to 60. And it's got like a kind of sprinkler function here by the looks of it, and I think that's probably for maybe watering plants, not too sure. So the fan goes from zero, I normally like around 15. And so you've got 25 and the fan gets bigger 40 and as I said um, it's just the, the fan just comes out extremely wide on that one okay this is the uh, filter I'm gonna put this just inside just inside there if, if this was totally open here this kind of um, that kind of rubber bit here would kind of float along the top anyway but um, I've not done that yet. So, so that was an air. The, the actual lead to this is pretty long. I'll just kind of demonstrate kind of how long this is. So, you, so if you were to um, use this on your car, I've used it on my car and it gets around there pretty easily. So, um, I'll start on, I'll start on, no, I'll start down on 15, which is my, my preference. And um, this, this does take some time to draw up. So, So we're going to put up to 25, so this opens up the fan a little bit wider. So as you can see, it gives a lot more coverage. Uh, this is 40. Again, a lot more coverage. And this is kind of like that. Almost like a totally useless. Um, 
So for better pressure, I pray normally down at 15, is where you can get some dirt off the bike. Again, it takes a little bit of time to draw through it. Here, so when I'm cleaning away, Pretty well, right? And then I press this button here, the ether mode. You can see the PSI reading the details. Right, we're back. Okay, so on uh, on the screen there, there's a little fly, and that's been there for probably about five days. Let's see, if, let's see if it's powerful enough to get it off. going for about just about a minute there and that's taken about three liters of soap so I'm gonna quickly just sprinkle over this side and that's it that's what happens when the soap is completely run out okay so gonna pop it out of soap bucket. Look me, I don't bother rinsing it off. Just chuck it. Chuck it straight on there. Back down there again. And we'll go about probably on 15. I'm going to do a time for it to go through. Okay, around about just about a minute there, and we have that much left of water. So it's managed to clean everything off. Um, it's good for a quick light wash. Um, probably wouldn't recommend this for. Um, bikes that have dirt that have been kicked in it for over four or five days. I think for me, what I normally do with this, if I've come off for a rainy bit of a dirty day, either I'll do it on the same day, or I'll probably do it the next day just to just to loose get the 
specifically not the dirt. 